Disability rights intersect with everything, with every race, nationality, religion, gender, age, class. Anyone can be disabled at any time. I think the most interesting and also infuriating intersection in Palestine is that day after day, due to the violent, oppressive uh, Israeli violence towards the Palestinian, we are creating new disabled children. We are creating new disabled adults in a society that isn't given the chance to accommodate them. I always think about what it's like for an autistic child to listen to the constant buzz of airplanes bombing them and having no escape. I always say that if I wasn't Palestinian, I would definitely be hosting my own late night show. I know for a fact that I have lost opportunity after opportunity because I am vocally pro-Palestinian, Palestinian rights. And I remember I was working on a sitcom and they didn't want the character to be Palestinian because it was too controversial and they wanted her to be a vague Arab and I said what's a vague Arab are they Sudani or are they Lebanani because none of those things look alike but imagine being told your actual identity is too controversial it's very beautiful to see the presence of Palestine on stage but it's not enough I don't want to be the Palestinian that like rains on everybody's happy day. But the thing is, yes, there were flags, there was recognition, we were the 33rd country, but we're not the 33rd country. We're not recognized. We don't have freedom of movement. We don't have freedom to do or marry whoever we want. Or our entire lives are controlled by whether or not Israel lets us do things. So while I love the representation and I love the flags, I want more. I want more than just symbols. I want action.